Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a horrific 13 hours, probably a horrific 16 hours. Just a lot of things going on, a lot of corrections, and a lot of technical stuff going on in the background that is just tedious. And I don't like tedious technical stuff because it prevents me from doing real stuff. But either way, I just need to let you guys know, I told you about watching the yellow balloon. Some of you understand what is meant by watching the yellow balloon. Ladies and gentlemen, the yellow balloon is a distraction. You know, the guy, there's a carnival in town and there's a guy walking around with a yellow balloon. Nobody else is walking around with a balloon, but he's walking around with a yellow balloon. And everybody's focused at the yellow balloon. So while he's walking around with the yellow balloon and distracting everybody, he's got his pickpockets going around and going through the crowd and picking people's pockets and taking their money. And he's got somebody coming in like me said, hey, 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 what did he just picked your pocket? Man, leave me alone. I'm watching the yellow balloon. Okay, that's what's going on. And so I'm about to say something, and many of you are going to say, leave me alone. I'm watching the yellow balloon. Let's give you a demonstration. We're going to use ChatGPT to explain it. I have a question, and I need you to answer as logically as you possibly can. Comma, can you do that? Question mark. Thank you for agreeing to answer my question logically. Comma, how often do New York court grand juries indict someone on a misdemeanor? Question mark. Stop listening. The frequency in which the grand jury in New York indicts individu uh, individuals on a misdemeanor could depend on several factors, such as specific circumstances of the case and the evidence presented to the grand jury, the discretion of the prosecutors. However, it is worth noting in New York State, a misdemeanor charges can be brought in two ways. First, through a complaint filed with a police officer or another law enforcement agency, which then goes to the local criminal court, and second, through an indictment by a grand jury, which is convened by a prosecutor and can return a true bill or an indictment, which would result in a defendant being formally charged with the misdemeanor. That being said, grand juries are typically used for more serious crimes, cases, such as felonies, misdemeanors, which are less serious offenses, may not always be presented to a grand jury. In some cases, the prosecutor may choose just to file the charges directly with the court without going to a grand jury. So while grand juries can indict individuals on misdemeanor charges, it may not be the most common and routine way of bringing such charges. The frequency in which this occurs would depend on the specific circumstances. Ladies and gentlemen, giving money that they refer to as hush money, giving money to someone is not illegal. Even if you want to do uh, NDR, shut up, don't reveal anything about what you heard here, sign this NDR. Okay, give them that check. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Every single day, somebody is receiving money for keeping quiet. Every single day. And it's legal. Well, they're saying what he did is he reported it wrong on his taxes then that's federal, not state. I'm sorry. Sorry, it, it, the, 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 the amount of anger that I get because people don't think. Nobody's even thought about the more simplic, simplistic aspects of this. If it's a tax issue and they want to indict him with a grand jury, then it's a federal grand jury. But remember, what they're indicting him on, first, before they can even indict him, it's a tax issue. They must give him an opportunity to correct the mistake. Ha ha, where's the letter? But they didn't do that. No, 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 they convened the grand jury, the police cordoned off the whole street, 
since last week, extra police presence. That's a lot of money, ain't it? For a misdemeanor? What the? P so, ladies and gentlemen, if you believe in that book that you're reading on TV about Trump saying he wants people to riot and all that stuff, and you believe the media, and Trump could be in real trouble now. Oh, another defeat for Trump. Then you keep paying attention to the man in the yellow balloon while they keep picking your pockets. You guys need to be paying attention to the laws that are being passed in Congress right now. The acts that Congress are passing right now. These new rules and regulations Congress is passing right now as you're sitting there watching the stupid man with the yellow balloon. I'm sorry, the orange man with the yellow balloon. You guys cannot be that gullible. Now, if you keep thinking Democrats and Republicans and they're different and this side and that side, and you keep taking sides, then you're going to keep losing. You're going to keep being distracted, which means when they do change the system over and they are saying they're getting ready to go to that so-called cryptocurrency very soon, when they do change the system over, then you're going to be trying to figure out what to do. I don't understand it. I, I, I have people talking to me about this stuff and... For the life of me, I don't believe it. I don't believe that they could fall for it. The okie doke, as my boy Malcolm X would say. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I've told you guys, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't vote, never have voted in a single election, never will vote in a single election. I had a lot of people hate me in school because I wouldn't vote. Not even for those little stupid uh, school events where they voted for class president and all that stuff. They couldn't understand it. Why he won't vote? Because it's a joke. Student president? What the? Is that? Oh, that's grooming people so that they can participate in this current system. Ladies and gentlemen, I would rather participate in the system by writing off my debt. By writing off my debt. And by taking that debt and assigning it, pay attention, from my nonprofit organization or from my sole proprietorship to my person through a 1099B. No, no, you gotta go and do your research on that. Don't just be doing it because you hear me say it. Go do your research. And then obtaining a refund. And I can ask Chat GPT this information. Oh, look at that, 1099B credits. Now, I haven't opened up BARD yet, um, so I can't really do that right now because I was gonna compare the answer to BARD because ChatGPT says, well, I ain't giving you that answer. And then eventually it gave me the answer after seven or eight, 15,000 prompts. However, that's what I'd be doing if I was you guys. Instead of watching Trump and the rest of the, the circus, if you're watching national news, that means you're being lied to. Now there was a couple of situations that happened. Um, there was a shooting at a school in Tennessee and three children and three adults dead and then they said they confronted the female and uh, according to the when I saw one report it says she took her life but then the other report said that the police engaged the suspect now I don't know what people understand about the word engaged when referred to with police officers it means something totally different than what you thought it meant I also watched a video last night of a uh, ex-police officer from the LAPD and he actually talked about the mindset of the LAPD and it was that mindset that led him to quitting the force and filing a lawsuit. You see, what the story was is that while he was sitting in his car they were making a movie and the one of the um, individuals who were doing the film, I think it was like a stuntman or something, was in the car with them and they were sitting there talking waiting to go inside and while they're sitting there talking the police pull up behind them and then there's two more cars that pull up and as he gets out of the car he notices them behind him and he walks up to them and he sees they're standing out of their vehicles but behind their doors and so he understands the routine and so the young man puts his hands up and tells him he's a peace officer, he has a gun, he has a badge, and they proceeded to arrest him anyway, put handcuffs on him and hold him and detain him in front of his mother's house for greater than an hour and a half. All I can tell you is I found that interesting. 
They even opened his wallet, found his badge, and they gave him the excuse, well, many of these things are fake. Well, you could have just called the station. You guys work for the same police force. You could have called the station to verify that he was a peace officer with the Los Angeles Police Department, but they didn't do that. An hour and a half they held him. So if you think Trazavant made some money, um, this one should be able to do pretty good if he gets his jury trial like Trazavant got. Okay, we'll be giving you more information coming soon. That's 10 minutes. I just wanted to show you that the Trump thing is a joke, but I've known it since they started talking about it. When they started telling you it's just a misdemeanor, grand juries don't sit for misdemeanors. It costs too much, people. Look at how much money they've spent on this misdemeanor thus far, and it's way more than the money he gave Stormy Daniels. You all need to understand what's going on here. You all need to understand what's going on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't go for the okie doke. Gotta go.